guys, today we're going to talk about Barrett's two-month newborn cloth diapering update. So we're just going to kind of go through things that I've been loving in this last month. I'll leave links down below to like the one-month update, and I think I did a one-week and a two-week as well if you're wondering about all things newborn cloth diapering. I will leave links down below to that playlist all about newborn stuff. So let's talk about month number two with baby Barrett. So just to give you an idea, he was born at seven pounds, seven ounces. We just went to the doctor today and he is 12 pounds, six ounces. So he's very averagey sized baby at this point. And right now at two weeks old, two weeks, oh my gosh. And right now at two months old, he is probably wearing more one size than newborn size stuff at this point. Now I do want to mention today's video is sponsored by Green Maternity, green-maternity.com. There's always a link down below to the website. It has baby stuff, motherhood stuff, and of course cloth diapers in case you guys are interested. So some of the stuff I am talking about today was sent by Green Maternity, just FYI. So like right after the one month mark, we did the flats and hand washing challenge, which if you guys don't know what that is, it's a week long challenge we do here in the cloth diapering community where we use flat diapers all week long. And so I was uh, had a very limited stash of flats and covers. And by the time that one week was up, Bear had grown so much in that one week when I started putting him back into the newborn, like all in ones and different kinds of diapers that I had on hand. He seemed so much bigger. He was snapped out in rise settings. He was snapped out in the hips. It was so crazy how much he grew in that one week when I was using a very small little minimalist kind of stash. Now, one size stuff, is still kind of bulky for the most part on his little baby body, but he is fitting into a lot of items as well. So he's definitely in that transition -y stage right here at two months where he's still fitting in some newborn stuff, he's grown out of some newborn stuff, and he's starting to fit into some one size stuff, but there's definitely other one size stuff that I own that he isn't quite fitting into just yet, especially like in the leg holes, that's really where that's the important part to make sure that you get a nice little fit on the legs so nothing is escaping. He's even starting to need to be snapped out in the rise setting on some of his diapers after, you know, just a couple of weeks on the smallest settings. Um, I can think of like my um, Bungie's ones and the um, Cutie Patootie ones. Those are kind of similar diapers. He's had to snap out on both of those. Oh, and the Baby Boo ones. He's had to snap out on those as well. Now, um, I did want to mention, I plan on lending out my newborn stash. We have a friend, my sister has a friend who is due in July, I think, with her first baby. And so we're going to be lending the diapers, the newborn diapers out to her. So I have to start getting my like reviews filmed and taken care of before I need to give her all of the newborn diapers, you know? So bear it is my last baby and I'm not gonna need these newborn diapers anymore in a couple of weeks you know when he grows out of them all so they're going to a friend of ours and then after she uses them they're gonna go to my sister if she decides to have any more babies so um, I really need to get my stuff together and start filming some reviews on these diapers so let me show you my little stack here this is stuff that bear has already grown out of that i need to do some reviews on and if you are looking for reviews it's probably going to be like late july august before i really start pumping out the review videos so if you're looking for them it's gonna be a little bit i'm sorry Okay, so first of all here, this is a Noble Bebe Pre-Flat in the newborn size. He just recently, probably the last like week or so, has grown out of that. These newborn boosters I was using inside of my Thirsty's Natural Newborn All-in-Ones. And I, let me see what the list says. At six weeks old, he was out peeing the Natural All-in-One with a booster. So he was out peeing it even with a booster. So I have retired those. This is the um, Clothies half flat newborn muslin half flat and we're still using these like stuffed in pockets and stuff but I'm ready to do a review on them. Um, we did use these for the flats challenge and it took me a little while to figure out what kind of fold I wanted to be using but once I was using them I was loving them and I love these inside of pockets as well because they're not super bulky like the one size muslin flats can be on a tiny baby body but they still hold a ton. They're like very absorbent and I love muslin. It's just beautiful coming fresh out of the dryer honestly so that's another item that he's not really um grown out of but i'm ready to do a review on i think <laughs> next we have the little newborn workhorses from green mountain diapers these are the clothies brand these were amazing 
let's see what my list says. When did he grow out of these? It's been a couple of weeks now. So I would say around like six, seven weeks or something like that. He grew out of these. He never had a blowout with these. Like if we have this fitted on and then some kind of cover on top of it, it never, it never even leaked outside of this onto the cover. So it's like super blowout proof, honestly. So I've been loving, so glad that I picked those up this time around. I didn't own these with my last baby that I cloth diapered as a newborn, but yeah, they're really, really awesome. Next, I have the Diaper Right. Um, this is just the cover, the newborn size cover. And this little guy fit super good in the very early days. It was just a really nice little fit, but he grew out of it quickly because it fit so well on the tiny baby body, you know, like just a couple weeks old. He grew out of it more quickly. So it does have the um, horizontal snaps. So when he started unsnapping these ones on the hips on the end, I just decided to, you know, kind of like throw it in the stuff that he's grown out of pile. It is double layer PUL, but I didn't find it to be too bulky or anything. I really enjoyed using that cover, but um, it's just, it didn't last, you know, like a really long time. He probably outgrew it maybe like at seven-ish weeks. Next is this little Imagine Bamboo Newborn All-in-One. I don't have it written down here with me when he out peed this, but when I do my full review of this guy, I'll have all of that information in that video. So keep a lookout for that. I think that's gonna be one of the first newborn um, review videos I put out. So make sure you're subscribed if you're looking for a review, a full review on this guy right here. I did wanna mention it's so weird how your preferences change. Like, Last time with my last baby, Aaron, I really enjoyed, and with my first baby, Calvin, as well, um, I really liked the horizontal snaps, where it's just snap here, snap here. I liked that. But this time around, I think I like the vertical snaps better, where you have, you know, snap, 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 up and down. I don't know why. I think I really like that. And it's so weird how your little tiny preferences like that can change between babies. So that just goes to show you how everyone's cloth diapering experience can be totally different because even with specific babies, it can be different. So I mentioned how I liked stuffing pockets with these um, half flat muslins, muslin half flats. And I just wanted to mention to you guys, we've been using pockets for nighttime for baby bear. This is just an elemental joy pocket. It actually has um, a one it actually has a one size muslin in there right now, so it's a little bit a little bit fluffy. But we've been using um, pocket diapers for nighttime, and I did want to mention that's probably one of my husband's favorites. It's just he likes it when things are all the same. You know, like if we're just sticking to pockets for nighttime, he's not going to pull out this diaper here and see oh it has a flat folded up inside of there or this one here has a fitted folded up inside of that he doesn't like being surprised by what's inside of a diaper he likes to know okay this is the pocket and it all makes sense <laughs> you know whatever's inside the pocket he can't see he doesn't have to mess with it's just easy peasy so he likes to have consistency for the diaper changes and my husband does do you know usually he'll do one or two diaper changes in the nighttime with baby so i'm not saying pockets are good to like last overnight those are just the diapers that we use at nighttime you know he goes to bed around like seven or eight and then he'll wake up around midnight we'll give him a new diaper and then he'll wake up around like three and we'll give him a new diaper and then he'll wake up at like five or six and we'll give him a new diaper so it's not a diaper that's gonna last all night it's just the diapering system that we're using at nighttime i hope that makes sense so i have had people ask like what's like a, the dad's favorites and i would say pockets are nice for him and I also asked him actually like straight up and he said he did like when we used the system well this is technically a size small so when we had the newborn workhorses and covers over top he really liked that because it was very consistent once again that's just kind of what he likes so I do just want to mention some like overall favorites right now I would definitely say the petite crown newborn keeper is a favorite it worked well in the newborn days. It has a little bit of elastic, so it kind of dips down at the belly button side, but he's still probably got a couple more weeks at least to go in here. Um, even though it does have the horizontal snaps, he's not all the way like out on the last snap or anything. So I have loved this. This is definitely a favorite this time around. As far as covers are concerned, um, the Clothies wrap is also a favorite. I got the size one, not the size zero 
just FYI. And it's so flexible and soft and just covers everything. And yet it worked fine in the newborn days. It never, I never had an issue with the umbilical stump. That's another one that's been a favorite. Love it. I loved using the system with the workhorses underneath. So putting a fitted diaper underneath the cover, that was a really awesome system. Like I said, those workhorses were awesome. I do still like the Thirsties Duo Wrap size ones. I used those last time around with my baby Aaron, who is now three, and I still like them this time. I just think that these guys over here, I don't know, I've been more impressed with these guys over here, the clothies and the uh, petite crown, but I do still like the, um, duo wraps from Thirsties as well. I guess if you like really break it down, I like the single layer PUL or TPU stuff this time. I just feel like they're more flexible. They don't feel as bulky on baby. Like last time with my baby Aaron, I did really like the way that Buttons newborns fit on him, but Buttons are a double layer PUL. So they can be a little bit bulky, honestly, and I've just really been enjoying the single layer stuff. I used to really love double layer stuff. It made me feel like very secure. Like if there's a double layer of waterproof material, it's never gonna leak, right? But that's not always even necessary. You know, I don't really need two layers of waterproof material. It's perfectly fine with just one. And the one layer stuff can be more flexible and movable and just seems more comfortable to me. And not just comfortable, but like, you know, um, more gentle around the belly button when baby's belly button is still very, you know, raw and new, you know, when the umbilical stump is still there, you gotta be super gentle. And then even for a few days after the umbilical stump is gone, you know, you just kind of want to be gentle around that area. And I feel like the flexibility of a single layer waterproof cover just seems more gentle in that area, if you ask me. Oh, I also like totally recommend having some newborn boosters. You can just add that into anything. You know, as soon as baby starts out peeing this particular diaper, just put in a little booster like this and you can get a few more weeks of wear out of that particular diaper. And they're super affordable. These are the clothies ones on uh, Green Mountain diapers and they are, they're awesome. I love them. Oh, I've also really liked the Blueberry Simplex newborn. It's in the wash right now, so I don't have it on hand. He still hasn't ever leaked through that or out peed that. And they're pricey, man, but I really have enjoyed. I only own one, but I've really enjoyed using it on Baby Bear. So the, uh, what did I say? The, the Blueberry Simplex newborn organic, whatever. That one has been really nice. I do like the one size of that too. And he's actually been wearing the one size of that for a while as well. So like I said, he's kind of between newborn stuff and one size stuff. As far as wipes are concerned, I love me some Grovia wipes. I thought that I liked flannel wipes in the newborn days, but I really haven't been liking them this time around. I like the very small loop Terry wipes, like the Grovia, actually like the Oh So Cozy, which were sent by Green Maternity, just FYI. I've been using those and they have a flannel side and a very small Terry side, and they're actually kind of thick wipes, but I've been super enjoying those. I've actually been really liking the Baby Boo cover. This is another item that was sent by Green Maternity. It's very similar to the buttons, but get this, the one thing I really like about it is that on the inside of it, it has the front panel. It has a little panel right here, whereas the buttons does not. And this is helpful when you've got a tiny baby and the insert in there might be like, you know, a little bit bulky on baby. This helps it from, you know, coming over the top. You know, on the buttons one, if you put this on baby, sometimes the insert might be kind of showing a little bit. And then if baby's wearing like a tight shirt or tight pants, they might wick some moisture off of this onto their clothes and you gotta change their outfit. But if you have this little, little pocket of a panel up here for the insert to kind of stick into, it saves baby's clothes. So that's really nice. It's a, it's a very little minor thing, but it like makes a big difference if you ask me. And that's another thing, like I said, like how your preferences change. I used to love, I loved, um, um, I loved to have covers that had nothing going on inside, you know, no pockets, no extra material, just flat inside. I loved that. But this time around, I have learned that it's actually really nice to have that little, little bit of extra material on the front side right there, on the belly side of the diaper. And that's what I like about the Baby Boo ones. It's flat and good everywhere else, but right there on the front where you need it, it's got a little, little bit of a, a, a pocket there for the tummy panel or the tummy side of the diaper, you know? So it's the little things, you know? 
Okay, I feel like this video is kind of long, so I think we're gonna cut it off here. If you want to see um, any other kinds of, like let me know what other kinds of newborn questions and newborn diapering stuff you want to see me put out before I end up giving all the newborn stuff to our friend. <laughs> so if there's something specific that you, maybe just a newborn, you know, newborn diapering Q&A kind of video, that could be helpful. So let me know if you have any questions down below. If there's anything specific you wanna see reviews on, let me know down below and I will either show you a link to the review if I've done it in the past, or I will make sure to do it this time around soon. Like I said, um, I have a ton of newborn diapers to review and it's gonna be a little while to put them all out. Like I said, like late July, August is probably when I'm gonna start doing the newborn review stuff. So it's a lot of stuff to process. I have a notebook over there on my desk full of notes. You know, I really wanted to do like a lot of newborn cloth diapering videos, but I think this format is the best I can do right now. Just throwing everything all into one, just like, you know, throwing a ton of newborn diaper information at you all at once seems to be the easiest to do right now at this point in my life but we'll have individual reviews to come don't worry all the new stuff we'll have reviews on and like i said this video was sponsored by green maternity so if you haven't checked out her website i would totally recommend checking it out there's always a link down below in the description of the videos and i guess that's it so i'll talk to you guys next time <laughs>